Acá no se quedó con pura bajada. Acá. Oh, the hole really would take it out. <laughs> yeah, this guy almost got cemented in. Ya lo hacen de hole. It's so beautiful. Son gorditos, ¿eh? Son lindos, ¿eh? Mira ese con los orejones, mira. Tiene collar y todo, mira. Oh, okay. Son niños. Some guys from Northwest Landscape Care are on their way over this morning to start on the fencing job. In our last video, we saw the delivery and installation of two new goat structures. Where it left off, I was still figuring out the post placement for the fence, and I was struggling a bit. with making this temporary goat confinement area around the deck strong enough. Other than to show that these panels are now secure enough, I didn't shoot any video yesterday, so I'll just have to tell you what I did. I abandoned the idea of mounting those panels flush against the posts. We are now using the same heavy duty hardware configuration for these side panels as I had mounted on the front ones. One drawback to this system is the panels are loose and they will rattle around a bit, but they're secure and they're very easy to put on and take off. Are you goats hungry there? Are you goats hungry in reinforced goat jail? Are ya? Oh, it's your favorite. Yes, it is. Oh, it's your favorite. Yes, it is. Am I teasing the goats? You just want your food. Okay, it looks like the panels are holding. These lower hooks were a very good idea to keep it from bowing out. I have staked out the rest of the posts. That let me calculate additional materials I needed for the fence. I did need to get more posts. We're using this stall to store the quick creep mix. This space will be great for storing extra hay when we're not using it for anything else. These longer brace pins were the most difficult item to find. I bought what I could here in Oregon City. They were completely out of stock in Canby. I bought everything they had in Lake Oswego, and I still had to drive down to Salem to get the rest that I needed. I bought more of these pavers to go along the side of the new shed. I wanted the fence post that's gonna go right here to be nicely centered on those pavers. The new fence is gonna extend down and around this bushy tree, so it has been condemned to a death by goat nibbles. I'm gonna trim back about half of it now, just so the fencing job is a little easier. These two small mounds, if you can see them, need to be dug out so the fence can be nice and straight and flat through this run. 
I can get started on that while we're waiting for the landscape guys. We've already seen a lot of the fencing work when we were doing those posts over in the bunk area. So there's no need for me to show you everything again. I'll just do little snippets, maybe mention a few things here and there. One small adjustment already. Rather than going in a perfectly straight line from this post all the way down, at their suggestion, and I think it's a good one, we're gonna make this space square and even to here. So from this post, we'll go in a straight line for the rest of the way. And this will be a squared up space to, to just look better. This is why I really like working with professionals they have another really great suggestion. We're going to cement that first paver right down there with the post itself, but we'll also use some cement to create a slope so that it's basically its own splash block, directing the water out into the yard rather than back under the building. And the pencil? Yep. They're going to create a little form for the concrete. This guy almost got cemented in. It was in the hole. So this was an idea I had. I cut down one of the posts from when we were doing the buck pin the other day. It's spaced exactly what we need for our gate. So this hole will go right there such that the outside of the post touches on either end. That way the gates will be consistent and easy to put in. So they're getting ready to set the other end of this straight section, so when it's set, they can run a string right between them both and line every single pole right up. Because we shifted my original fence line, I'll have to do a little more digging.
nobody's perfect. One of the holes needed to move over a little, so the guys used a scrap piece of the fence post to help force that auger over. Remember when we're putting in these two posts, we were gonna put in the uh, middle part at the same time so we can have a little easier time with those okay. um, clips. Okay. That, that piece? Yeah, we'll have to cut it to whatever size you're gonna need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one piece down here that I was talking about. It's shorter than the others, and I was afraid trying to slip it on and slide it into position before putting in that other, um, what is the thing called? Brace pin. I was afraid with that short piece that the brace pins might be a little too difficult for the, to guide the post onto and then shift it over. So putting it all together at the same time may be a little tricky, but possibly the only way to do it. On the left. You want to it out? No. Okay. And it doesn't matter which one gets the short clip or the short pin. Okay. If we do the short pin in here, then you'll be knocking with the hammer on that one more. And this one's you know where we want it, yeah, yeah. I guess. And then maybe that makes oh, sense. Okay. Because we're off set from the building, we have plenty of room to go in. ¿Qué quiere que marcado? No, lo que quiere es para cortar. Claro, mijo. Ya entendí, chico. Claro. ¿Te le pego? Good. Probably good enough. Let's just twist it and see if there's a better side we can have oh, up. Okay. Nice. That looks pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Down. Good. Straight. Yeah. All right, with 48 inches is the height of the fence. Okay. Squirrel is our friendliest rabbit. Yeah. Come on, sit here. Come here. Come here. Es amistoso, mira. Come here. Sí, son claros. Son amistosos. Oh, thank you. Yeah. He wanted to show his wife our rabbits. Oh. Mira, se para en los patios de casa el tal, alto mío.
these posts down here on the slope, we want to have nice and deep. I'm a little worried that we'll experience some erosion on the bottom over time, so I don't want the post to be a little too wobbly if too much of the dirt washes down the hill. The posts that will go along this fence, we want as close to the fence as possible. That way, the goats can reach through the fence and eat any weeds that happen to be growing between it and the fence. Very good. Nice and tight. Thanks for watching. We'll have to continue the fencing in our next video.